Uh, sort of back to the border. Uh, this idea of taking Title 42 out of the toolbox in terms of a way to deal with illegal uh, immigrant crossings, do you believe if Title 42 is repealed, there would be a surge at the border? I, as I, I, I think it's important for uh, me to explain our role in this and, and the Justice Department's only role is when, uh, when the CDC makes its assessment, as it did, um, um, and asks us to appeal for us to determine whether that would be lawful. Um, and the department concluded that the CDC's uh, but you but you're in charge. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish your thought. Yeah. Uh, and so that that was so. I think uh, to answer the other part of your question, I think all intelligence suggests that there will be a, a large increase in the border. Okay. Yes. Now, when it comes uh, to drugs, it, migrants. Uh, yeah. Right. When it comes to drugs coming into the United States from the southern border, in the last year, has that problem gotten better or worse? Um. I don't, I don't know what the numbers are. I, I mean, it is obviously the case that uh, the, the transportation of fentanyl particularly has uh, increased. Fentanyl is much easier. It's much more compact, much smaller, goes a longer way. Uh, the the uh, smugglers, uh, particularly in the trucks, have developed ways to hide it even from our x-rays. Yeah. So the, that problem of fentanyl crossing the border has definitely increased in a way that uh, makes all of us very worried. Okay. So when it comes to, to your role in all this, um, if Title 42 is repealed and we get a surge, there's an increase in fentanyl coming across the border, and the leading cause of death for Americans from 18 to 45, they tell me, is fentanyl overdose. Do you think this budget and the game plan for the Biden administration is a, will be effective against this increase? I think that the budget we've asked for for drug trafficking and drug interdiction, which is $9.8 billion, is, is, a, is a huge amount and an enormous uh, um, um, allocation of America's resources yeah. in, in this respect. Um, but again, our job is different than the Department of Homeland Security. No, no I, I, I got can't you. can't speak to uh, their resources. And I'll try to wrap up here, but drug interdictions are dramatically less than they were in FY 2020. One, we had 913,000. Um, that's how much drugs um, were, were interdicted. Now we're at 340,000. It seems to be that interdiction is going down. So my basic question is, do you consider the border in a state of crisis? I think, uh, as you rightly pointed out, there's going to be a lot, uh, the intelligence suggests there'll be a lot of people, uh, a lot more people yeah. uh, uh, migrating well, from the border. The reason I mention that, as I believe it is, I believe that the amount of drugs coming across are unprecedented. The amount of people coming across the border illegally is unprecedented. It seems to be every trend line is getting worse. And to be honest with you, Mr. Attorney General, I think we need to go all in, all hands on deck, of controlling our border, and do you believe that what we have in place through this budget and the system as a whole that we can expect to turn this around? I think that the money, with respect to the Justice Department, which is the only thing I can speak to, I think that if you give us the increased resources that we're asking for, we can do our job. Okay. So six months from now, we'll, we'll see. Thank you.